right, this is our last part of our Godot C++ maze tutorial. We have a windscreen already. We want to add a couple buttons to it to restart and to quit. So let's add a button, a texture button. And then we're going to, let's make it yellow texture. Uh, we need to open up that textures. So for normal, yellow, and for pressed, we'll just put it black. And then let's put it, position it under, and size it about right. And then we want our stretch mode to be tiled and expand. And then let's look at the rect. Okay, we want, let's put it at position 100 and 750. Yeah, that still looks good. And then size, let's do 600 by 250. And that looks pretty good. So that'll be the size of our button. And then let's call this button quit button. And then we want a label to put our text on. So let's call this quit text, and then we want to put text of quit, and let's check the size, 600 by 250, so on quit text, let's put the size as 600 by 250, so it's exactly the same size as the button. And then we are going to center it, both vertically and horizontally, and then we want to create a font for it. And let's go into the font and then drag the font over. Setting, uh, we'll do size 100. Uh, that looks good. And let's change the color of the text. Let's make it a uh, blue. Uh, let's make it right about there, maybe. Sure. Why not? Now we are going to lock the text so that we can't move it without the button and then let's duplicate the button and we'll call this duplicate restart button and restart text and then let's change the text to restart and let's drag it to about the right place and then let's look at our position Okay, we'll make it 1220 by 750. And that looks pretty good. Now we want to have a script on our main thing here. So let's we're going to need Visual Studio, so let's open that up, and then let's go to our Godot project and copy a GDNS file, and name this one, rename it to Windscreen, and then let's edit it, and we'll replace player with Windscreen in resource name and class name. And that's all we need to do. Now in Godot, let's connect to the script. And we now have the script attached. So in Visual Studio, let's not forget this time, and we'll just pound include windscreen.h and register our class of windscreen right away. And of course, neither of them exists yet, so we're getting errors, but that's fine. Now let's add a windscreen file, uh, both C++ and header file. And in the header file, let's if guard it. And we are 
No, we're not using namespace. Yet. We are in namespace Godot, and we also want pound includes. Uh, pound include core Godot, as always. Pound include we are a texture rect, and pound include uh, scene tree, and that's not scene tree. Uh, scene tree, so that we can get our tree and quit and restart from it. And then also pound include tree. And then pound include root.h. And then in root, we have everything. So, okay, Godot library is still, no, we don't have a class yet. So, all right, class windscreen, it's a public Godot, Godot script. And this one's a texture rect. And then Godot class macro, windscreen, and public. Let's make a constructor, destructor, and we want our static void register methods. And then we want our callbacks from the signal. So a uh, quick button, we want to attach and we're going to copy out that function name and then paste it in so on quit button pressed and then we're going to do the same thing for our restart button connecting it to windscreen again and paste it in Okay, now let's start our C++ file. So, well, let's, yeah, we don't have any errors anymore in Godot library. So, all right, pound include windscreen.h and using namespace Godot and our void windscreen underscore register methods. We want to register method or whatever, just paste in what we still have on our clipboard and point to the same function. And then register method, the other one. So let's grab that to our clipboard. Paste it in and then address the windscreen that function. Now we want our constructor and destructor quick. Uh, we don't have anything to put in them, so. Then let's do our windscreen and underscore on whichever button, quit button. And then let's do the other one. Both of these are going to be about the same and they're going to be very, very short. So inside of quit button, we want a scene tree pointer that we are going to get returned by owner get tree. And then from that pointer, we want to quit and that's it. And then let's copy paste over that get tree. And then we want to just reload current scene on the restart. And that will hopefully build. And then that builds. So let's check if it works. And that should be it. And we will go to the exit. And hey, we won. Let's quit. Quit works. So let's restart it and walk back in again click restart it works and go again and it works so let's quit there we go we are done